How to speed ramp in DaVinci Resolve I'm having a video footage on my timeline and to get started I need to right click on it and select Retime Controls. Right over the video you will see these blue arrows which are indicating that Retime Control is activated. First step is to add our key points. We need to go to the section of the video on which we want to add key point. Select this drop down menu next to 100% and select Add Key Point. Now what you're seeing here is our first key point separation and we need to go to section where we need to add another key point. Let's say it's here. So we're gonna click the drop down menu next to 100% and select add kit point. So far we're having a video that is separated in three parts and to change the clip speed we need to select this drop down menu on the selection, change speed and then select the speed. I'm changing the second part on 400, I'm changing the first part to 75 as well as 75 on the last part. So now my video is starting from 75% playback speed going to 400 in the second section and it's ending again on 75% playback speed. Now I know there's a few problems and we're gonna start fixing it by right clicking and selecting Retime Controls. If you don't see this window you can select Retime Speed right here and make sure that Retime Speed is enabled. So in this part we need to make sure that our keyframes are gradually changing the speed, not just a jarring cut like this one. So we need to select our keyframes let's say the left one right here and then select this icon that will make our curve smoother we're gonna do the same for the second one so i'm highlighting it and selecting this icon again then i'm pulling these corners to make it even more smoother that way it's going to gradually increase its speed and decrease it again and as i play through i can see one more problem and that is we're losing the frames it is too jarring so we need to highlight the clip go in the inspector scroll down and then go to retime and scaling and on retime process we need to select the drop down menu and change it from project settings to optimal flow. That way our frames are not going to ripple and the video footage will be more smoother. I hope this video was helpful. If you want to see some more effects you can check out this video right here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.